12,900 years ago, Earth experienced a major cataclysm. There are three key concepts implicit in this video. First, we live in an electric universe filled with electric filaments called Birkeland currents. The scalability of this model is clear from neurons up to the galaxies and beyond. Second, global myths are man's early attempt to capture events they couldn't possibly understand. This cataclysm is marked by the dramatic climate change known as the Younger Dryas Period, the event being described as one of a negatively charged planetary body coming in close contact with another electrically charged planetary body. And finally, Venus was the celestial body which clipped the Earth in the distant past, a theory put out by Emmanuel Velikovsky in his book, Worlds in Collision. My name is Bob, and this adventure will eventually end up in my little hometown of western Wisconsin. But let's start with the best evidence for this cataclysmic event, the Close Approach Impact Zone. First, we need to appreciate the size of this event, as Venus is roughly 95% the size of the Earth. So when Venus flew by during the cataclysm, it didn't look like this from the Moon. The event probably looked more like this from the Moon. As the planet approached, the ground shook so violently that it split the coast of mainland China and formed the island of Japan. This becomes more evident as we change our perspective to that of Venus's approach. Looking down the throat of the event, we see the clear burn pattern scarred across the surface. Just as two negative magnets cannot connect, so these two negatively charged electromagnetic bodies in space repelled each other to prevent a collision, but in doing so created the giant scar in the Eurasian Plateau. As the planetary curve moved away to the north and closer to the south, you can see how the scarring event changed the landscape in the same way that a ball thrown into the mud would leave a mark. Here along the southern edge where the Himalayas were formed do we see the most prominent evidence for a near impact event as the heat and electric plasma arcs formed this massive mountain chain. Behind the close impact zone hot slag rock and massive electric storms contoured the mountain ranges of southwest China, Laos and Myanmar. Looking at the impact from the front affords the chance to gain better perspective on the sheer size of the mark looking back at it. And finally, the front of the event formed the mountains of Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan. In part two we will examine the rebound evidence and a crack formed by a very particular predictable motion of Venus after its initial close approach. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and don't forget to share. Peace.